Hey Jill, it's Lee from Template Launcher. Um, so I have another, uh, I came up with a hacky way of doing this. Sorry there's not an easier way to add the buttons right now, but um, uh, this it, it's similar to the last solution I showed you. So um, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to this HTML section. You can actually put any, any code snippets in here. Um, and so I, what I did was, uh, let me show you what I did. Um, okay, so first thing you wanna do is you want to go to an image section and you'll notice that I uploaded the image so I'm, I'm just gonna do it again just to just to show you okay no I'm gonna upload it again great okay and then click done so then um, oops I forgot to select it We'll select that image. Okay, so then all what what we're gonna do, the problem with this, like obviously this works, but you can't link it. And I have a feeling that's what you want to do. So what you need to do is you need to do inspect element again. Okay, so inspect element. And once again it's gonna highlight it. The key here is you want to grab the source. The source is basically the URL where this image is hosted on the pages. Um, since we uploaded it to their server. You're going to grab that source, so you're just going to copy that. Okay. And then we're going to come down to this HTML section. And we're going to add a link. And I'm going to link um, just to show you to my site, templatelauncher.com. And then um, so it closed it for you automatically. And then we're going to put an image inside of it. We're going to set the source equal to the source that we just grabbed. And then you'll just want to close it like so. So there's not, with the image tag, there isn't like a closing tag like there is for a lot of the other ones. Um, so all you need to do is close like this. And I'm going to put this code snippet in the um, email with this screencast. So you can do this. And then you just click done. Okay, and it's important to note that it's it's not going to look like it's there, but it is there when it shows in production. Um, so let's save this page. Jill 3. I'm just going to save that. And you'll see the page will um, it'll reload, and it won't, again, it won't show the buttons there until we go look at it in production. So I'll show you that in one second once this loads here. And I'm going to look into ways to uh, adding this functionality because I, I think it is pretty important to be able to add uh, your own custom buttons because right now you're you're stuck with the button that I designed and it's it's not definitely not perfect for every situation so um, okay here we go and so then we just click on publish and we are waiting for it to load we'll click view page and here's our page And I'm going to scroll down, and there you go. So here's the first image where we uploaded. Um, obviously, you can get rid of that, but then here's the one with the link. And this this is what we're trying to accomplish. So we're there, and you'll see if I click it, it'll it'll follow the link out to my site. All right, so there you have it. Another great hacky solution, but it'll uh, get you up and running. So thanks again, and have a great night.